Good morning, everyone. It's Evelyn from Twin Flames 3344. Um, I just want to do a quick clearing before we start. I'm going to do a 12 card read for the 12 signs. Um, I want to try to get some positive energy out there for you guys. But I do also want to do a quick clearing before. Let me use my, my singing bowl. I want to do a quick clearing with you, but I also want to... Um, for those of you out there who may be sick, especially with the coronavirus, I'm going to offer, I usually do my Reiki healing, uh, which is no less than an hour session. It's usually 133 but I'm going to do that for um, $80 for those people who are sick or have the coronavirus who need healing. Um, it consists of a Skype session. I, t I like to do the healing part without connection, although we can stay open on Skype, but it is a formal meditation for me. I literally go in and do healing. I can I can see things in your body and feel things in your body that um, are, are issues for you and clear them. So, and I also want to go through just a little short clearing here that everybody can do for themselves. So, if you should... Uh, if you should need um, a healing, I'm not going to do a whole lot of them because it, it can be draining on me. I'm going through this just with you guys, so I do feel the collective stress about everything that's going on. But again, like if you do need a, a, an illness healing, um, I'm glad to give you a discount for that. And again, you can reach out to me by email if you have any questions. Okay. So take a deep breath. I want to just do a really quick, uh, short meditation and clearing. So take a deep breath. We're going to hold it. So take a deep breath now. Let it out slowly. And another one, you're gonna let it out really slowly, but hold, take, take your breath and hold it in. When you let it out, diff let it diffuse. When you pull it in, wrap it around your heart, and as you breathe out, just breathe out really slowly and allow the energy to just diffuse out from your heart space into your chest and into all of your extremities, your head, your arms, your legs, and then out into your auric layer and out into your field. Okay, take another deep breath. As you let your breath out, let all the energies just ground out through your feet and out through your tail, into the ground. Allow all those energies to just seep into the ground to ground you. And let everything just melt away. So in asking God, Source, your higher self, your guides, masters, whoever you call on. Please armor us all with your love. And let's clear all negative energies, all dark energies, or all virus energies. Okay, let's really focus on the virus energies to clear all those dark, negative, and viral energies from our fields across all dimensions of time, space, matter, and realities for the highest good of all these concerned. And let's fill all those empty spaces with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystalline light. And so it is. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Another way you all can help is through your water. You can ask, your, tell your water, command your water, send love to your water, love, you are love, you are healed. Send all this loving vibration to your water when you drink your water so that when it goes through you and then into the ground, it spreads out to the whole world. It's a great way to raise everybody's vibrations at the same time. You are loved, you are healed. You are loved. You are healed. You are loved. You are 
Dankeschön. So it is. Namaste, guys. I'm going to pull some cards for you guys. This is the, the Gilded Tarot. I think I'm going to use the Kipper deck as well. And the Mini Rider Weight. And I'll probably use my Energy deck too for cards. Since it's all 12 signs, Aries through Pisces. Clear and fill with only beautiful divine love and diamond crystal and light. And so it is. Aries to Pisces, all 12 signs. Let's have some positive energy today. Let's have some positive energy today. 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 Aries to Pisces, all twelve signs. So here we go. Aries to Pisces, all twelve signs. Okay, so for Aries, you have the King of Swords. I am going to do headers at the top as well. So Aries, for, for Taurus, we have the Death card, which is good. That's full transformation. For Gemini, Two of Cups. Nice. And Cancer. The Fool. Beautiful. I mean, they're really good so far here. What do we have for Leo? Is the Three of Pentacles reversed? What do we have for Virgo? We have the Six of Cups. Beautiful. What do we have for Libra? Three of Wands. What do we have for Scorpio? We have the Star reversed. Sagittarius. The Page of Pentacles. Capricorn, we have the Eight of Cups reversed. Aquarius is the Eight of Pentacles reversed. And Pisces is the Ace of Swords. Okay, so overall, it's, the energy is much better than it's been. This will be for everybody. Okay. And then the underlying energies, so the, this will be for fire signs. So the first column is fire signs. Your overall energy is the two of wands reversed. For, whoop, for um, earth signs, it's the eight of swords. So you may be in your head a little bit here. For the air signs, we have, I keep turning it over. The sun is for air signs, which is amazing. And then for water signs, we have the knight of, of pentacles reversed. I might feel a little stuck. Okay, so then we end up with the Three of Swords, but we're moving away from this. This is the underlying energy. Okay, so I'm not going to do the bottom summary cards today. We'll just stick with this because I am doing before and afters. So for the Kipper deck, here's the Kipper deck. Aries through Pisces, all 12 signs. Aries through Pisces, all 12 signs for the Kipper deck. Okay, so for Aries, you have great fortune, Aries. For Taurus, you have the main male. I will be picking this up as I do per sign, so you will see them again. This is for Gemini, marriage. And the Two of Cups, Gemini, that's beautiful. Cancer, unexpected income. 
Leo, High Honor, Virgo, Coffin, Libra, Privileged Lady, Scorpio, the community. Scorpio had this yesterday too. Sagittarius, the false person. And that could just be children giving you a hard time as well. <laughs> they could be a little, a little sneaky. Um, Capricorn, the wealthy man. And that came up for Leo. And I'm trying to remember who else it came up for yesterday. Uh, Aquarius, concern. Which is why you're probably in that energy. And then we have um, Pisces with a message. Okay, and then the card for everybody will be the lovers. How beautiful. And that has a lot to do with affection for people. And the underlying energy is sudden wealth hitting the jackpot. So through the heartbreak and separation, sudden wealth hitting the jackpot. And that makes a lot of sense, right? Underneath that is a lot of toil and labor and after working hard to take care of things, perhaps in the house, hitting the jackpot, sudden wealth, all right? All right, so we're also gonna do, uh, I'm gonna clarify first with the Rider Waite Mini before I give you the energy cards. I'm gonna give you those as the last deck. So let's see, we'll just start with um, Aries. I'll pull the energy deck cards now. I'll do them one at a time as I pull your sign. Okay. Okay, so here we have Aries, and all the fire signs are the two of wands reversed, which for me is about feeling stuck like you have no options, or you've chosen your new choice of path, but you haven't been able to implement it. All right, so Aries has the King of Swords and Great Fortune, which is beautiful. King of Swords is in his truth, calm in his royal colors with the beautiful gold, the purple and gold. This is very regal for Aries. So let's see, first of all, what we get when we pull for the energy deck. So being very logical, calm, in authority. This can also be dealing with uh, the court system, the police, the military. It's all positive. Like I said, it's very regal and royal. Also can have to do with um, the blues and purples of, the, of speaking your truth and using your intuition. And the gold of the Christ consciousness or the unity consciousness. All right, let's see. This is for Aries. What, what is Aries getting from the energy deck? got two cards that want to come out. Let's see, a cornucopia, and I'm going to put them back in, but we'll leave them out as we're reading here. We got cornucopia and walking away. But she looks happy. And the underlying energy ends up being um, the storm warning there. So that's going away. Storm warnings going away, and instead we have the sun shining through, okay, with great abundance in walking away, okay? So this is your, your advice, Aries. This is 11, so this is justice energy. 27 is the ace of wands, a new passion, new start, new creativity. And there's so much pink and yellows, really beautiful energy, a lot of compassion, and just um, divine energy. It's very surreal in color here. Really beautiful. So if you need to walk away from something, this is a beautiful moment to do it. There's great opportunity and fortune in this. All right, Aries. Why do we have the King of Swords? and great fortune. Let's get closer in here so you can see them. Why 
that is Aries have the King of Swords and Great Fortune, which by the way is number 26, which is the Page of Wands. That's excitement, inspiration. All right, so for Aries, we have the World Reverse, the Two of Cups Upright, and then the Knight of Pentacles. So you may feel like your world is upside down. You may feel like you need closure and coming together with somebody and to go forward to um, offer help to somebody else, right? You might want to team up with someone to help others out in the world because the world's kind of in disarray, right? Teaming up with someone to go forward. This can be a soulmate as well or just a partner, um, someone you're going to work with, but someone you definitely see eye to eye with for work purposes or help purposes or to make some kind of proposal to someone. We have the tower after that. So this is definitely in helping out, okay? This is in sudden events, um, blowing your cover, your crown, your top, people exploding, having epiphanies, offering to help with sudden events and epiphanies, drama, any drama that's going on to settle everybody's feelings and, and issues, all right? Any suffering in silence. This is definitely Aries wanting to do their part and help, okay? With the world being in disarray, okay? We're just partnering up to help, keeping it simple, which is really beautiful, all right? So that's why you need to walk away from whatever you're doing right now, because you want to help. And there's great fortune in this, great abundance. That's a really beautiful read, Aries. Okay. So back. All right, next we have Taurus, and all of the earth signs are a bit in their head with the eight, with the, uh, eight of swords. That can indicate prison or just anxieties and fears. Again, staying in your head too much, not letting go. Um, and we have the death card and the main male. So the death card is all about endings, right? Transformation, transition. It can be death as well. But we have the main male here. It looks, it feels positive energy. So somebody might still have a little bit of fear around this, but the full transformation is here. So that is good. This is Taurus. So let's see from the energy deck what Taurus has. All right, Taurus. Taurus, Taurus, Taurus. Okay, we got two cards for Taurus too. A man holding a heart. And deceit. Okay, and there's a lot of red in this. So it's very, um, and I'm losing my voice, okay? Um, the underlying energy is Angel of Balance, which is 48. That's that uh, Eight of Cups of walking away and within. So there's this sweet feminine energy in the underlying energy. And then there's a man holding his heart along with deceit. This is 45 of grief, loss, regret, guilt, shame, trying to let go of the past, standing at the Y in the road, not making a decision. 25 is, again, this can be that path, choice of path two in numerology, 25-7. It's also the Knight of Wands, rushing in passionately. So this could be two sides of the same person, Taurus, you know, the man who's been holding back, who's in love, and the man who wants to rush in the Knight of Wands, passionately, perhaps play someone. Like who, which side of themselves are they supposed to be? They may be in conflict with these two sides of themselves. And this is very safety and security issue, it's all red. So it just has to do with fear of stability and safety. Okay, so let's, let's see what the, uh, the mini deck says here for Taurus. I have Scorpio here. We have the Queen of Wands reversed and the Sun reversed. So this could be a Leo person, but out of control or sick. Somebody could be sick and tired of the kids all over the place. <laughs> That's definitely Taurus energy, okay? So this is a Leo person around you or you're Taurus with Leo in your chart. Okay, but this is definitely either, again, like I said, somebody's sick, somebody's a Leo out of control, or someone's sick and tired of dealing with the kids all over the place at home because they're not in school. Okay. 
It's, and this is where, this is coming before this death card. So before somebody was clinging and not allowing the full transformation or changes to happen, they just kept going, you know, same day, you know, not making any changes. But now all of a sudden, completion has come with the main male here. So it definitely can be this main male as the, the, um, the masculine Taurus and it could be a more fiery energy for the feminine Taurus. Or the masculine is just representing the masculine in both the masculine and feminine and the need for completion and that the completion has come. You've been clinging to the past or doing the same old thing, you know, same old thing, different day. And now all of a sudden the full transformation has come. Okay. Definitely battling the two sides of yourself. So, right, this could be the man holding the heart and this could be the deceit energy, right? The queen of uh, wands, in essence, if she's not sick, is not a nice energy, right? It can be someone who has a really bad temper, explodes, is their ego could be out of control. So that could be this, you know, battling not only um, two sides of yourself, but literally battling someone else in that energy having to do with safety and security and stability issues, okay? So this is Taurus. So now we're on to Gemini. All the air signs have the sun, which is full energy, happiness, vacation, sunshine, full exposure. And for Gemini, it's marriage exposure. And we have the two of cups there as well. It's beautiful. Let's see what else we have for Gemini. At 2202, Gemini. All about the twos for you, Gemini. All right, we have the six of a contract. This is also like justice. So there's a, um, there can be Libra energy or just dealing with the justice system. That justice is blind, but things are fair here. With six, this can just be love, family, and community and dealing with contracts or promises. Um, you also have this card coming out, patience. Number 16 is the tower. So with all of the drama going on, it's your job to be patient, be the, you know, the voice of reason here, okay? The voice of reason. Time is on my side. So that's what's coming up with that clock here. Um, the bottom of the deck for you here is door to personal healing and happiness. So you have a rainbow there wait, just waiting for you. And let's see what the... This is down here for you guys. So for Gemini, you have two of cups. That just popped right out. Ooh, I'm sweating too. There's a lot of masculine energy coming in. Somebody may have ended a family cycle and is now inspired to something totally new. There may be two kids. This one may feel a little bit vulnerable, vulnerable, rejected, or shy. Or this could be someone who feels, you know, it's like the, the baby that's crying. You could literally have a baby in the house who's crying here. This also could be that the child who feels entitled, right? So they throw little temper tantrums and fits or emotional, you know, or emotionally whiny when they don't get their way because they expect their way all the time. So that could be that energy. Um, but there's definitely an end or unhappy. This could be an unhappy family with the kids at home because they're making you crazy. Or this is the end of a family or emotional cycle. And this can be your inner children too if you're dealing with another adult. And this is walking away from that situation, all right? So ending that situation, which looks like is really super positive for you. So there could be some kind of divorce, but it's in a very positive way. You're very present to the situation. And here's another child energy. There's definitely children involved here for you, Gemini, all right? Or it could be the inner children truly inspired within the adults. Being very present, inspired to something totally new, but you're not quite ready to start it yet. You may have some family issues that you need to take care of right now before you can go full force into this endeavor or this, um, this new schooling or learning. And again, it can be children as well, but there's, it's a big new idea. After you deal with family issues, you're ready to start something brand new. So it looks like something really inspired. Ooh, I'm sweating. There's a lot of masculine energy here. The next card out for you guys, I just want to show you is the Six of Cups. So this is coming together with soulmates in love and in awakening, huge ideas. It's, 
really positive. But there's just some family issues that need to be wrapped up, whether it's, it's emotional or financial. But the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups are both reversed, which means the cycles are done. And there's nothing but good feelings here. So I don't want you to get the wrong idea. It's very positive. Whew, see, full exposure. Everything's out on the table. Everything's good. All right, now for the water signs, we have the Knight of Pentacles reversed. So you may be feeling stuck, stubborn, out of work, <laughs> disabled, or refusing to work, or refusing to move, wanting to be lazy, um, or just stuck in general. You know, that's the, the Knight of, of Pentacles is the, the loyal, humble servant, the workhorse, and we're just not that today, okay? So, Cancer, you have freedom, open heart, and a leap of faith, perhaps skywriting or looking up at the stars in astrology, and some unexpected income coming in. Number 27 is the Ace of Wands, a new passion, and here we have the zero source energy. So let's see from the energy deck. What do we have for Cancer? Cancer. This is for Cancer. Cancer. All right, we have all tied up. So you may be dealing with an earth sign with the eight of swords over there feeling a little bit restricted, but you're making the best of it, making it a game. Instead of feeling trapped in the house, you are making rainbows out of it, which is beautiful. And that makes sense for Cancer, because Cancers love being at home. We also have 39. 39 is the Knight of Cups. 23, by the way, for the other card is the King of Wands. So somebody, that's the man of passion. So having some fun at home while you're stuck there. 39 is the Knight of Cups, the fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel. And the fifth is... Um, the throat chakra, so it's all about speaking your truth in love. All right, so that looks very passionate and romantic. Um, you also have the sun here, which is above the air sign, so you may have some air in your chart, or you're dealing with an air sign. That this looks, you know, you could be in a jacuzzi or a hot tub or something, but just or going to the spa and just pampering yourself, or just making your home a spa. Okay, especially if the, the sunshine is out, or if the sun isn't out, you're making sunshine inside the house. All right, so it's really beautiful energy. The underlying energy is community, so you may have a lot of girls in your family since you're stuck in the house, or playing dress up perhaps, maybe making something special at home while you're stuck, or just going to friend or family's house just to hang out, or it can just be um, siblings having fun together. So what else does Cancer have here? We have freedom, unexpected income, and it looks like some, some fun at home or some fun on vacation in the sun because you have freedom there. Unexpected income, you might be able to go away a little bit. Uh, King of Wands is reversed, and then the chariot is upright. So we do have the 23 there. That's why he's all tied up over here because he may not feel good or he, so he might be sick or just tired and somebody else wants to go out or move or travel or ascend perhaps or you're just with a cancer energy, which is true because you're cancer. So cancer, you could be around this king of wands who's tired or he could be mad, but I'm not really getting mad energy. We have a lot of powerful energy here. You might have other people living with you, like a father or a father-in-law or a grandparent. This is Cancer and Aries, so that may be you, and he could be an Aries. And then we have the Knight of Wands here as well. It's very positive energy. He might just be tired, so the others are supporting them, making things more fun at home. This could be Sagittarius energy, so we have Aries, Sag, and Cancer with Cancer. And there's Cancer, how perfect. Aries, Sag, and Cancer. Perhaps this could be another fire sign, which could be um, any of the fire signs, Leo, Sag, um, or Aries. But Cancer, you're very strongly represented. This could also be another water sign. But either either which way, it looks like um, maybe four, four people are feeling good and maybe going on a little vacation or a break for the day with this freedom here, with some unexpected income, but the king of wands may want to stay home because they're just not feeling good or they're tired. 
Okay, so it actually looks very nice, just being having a lazy day. And the other four may not be going anywhere. They just may be planning travel in the future or just taking a drive locally. It's really nice. Okay, that's Cancer Energies. Let's see what else. I want to see these cards open like this. All right, so Gemini is definitely looking at, looking at themselves. They're focusing on each other. And Aries and Cancer are just into their own thing. Um, up next is Leo. And with Leo, we have the Three of Pentacles reversed, which could be some issues at work. It could be loss of money at work. It can be third-party issues from work. Or it could be leaving work, people refusing to come in. Or it could literally be layoffs or firings or retirings. Um, and we have high honor here. So somebody could be leaving literally because they're retiring. They've been, or just they're choosing to step down because the money's tight right now. But either which way, it's a positive thing. All right, and this is also right next to that triple seven jackpot thing. So let's see what else is coming up for Leo. Now we have, there's a lot of Aries energy with Cancer with the Fool plus the other cards that came up. And Taurus has Scorpio with them as well. Now, there is some Earth energy for sure here with um, Leo. Let's see what else is coming up for Leo in the energy deck. Again, we have community like Cancer, so you may have Cancer in your chart or someone of Cancer in your family, so you may be doing the same things as Cancer. And then we also have 48, which is Angel of Balance again. Um, 48 is the Eight of Cups, walking away and within, so taking some time to yourself. And so that could be that King of Wands with Cancer who's staying home, could be Leo. Because it looks like you might want to just take some time out. And we have hostilities as well. So there may be some anger within the Leo is why they need to stay home. 26 is that uh, page of Wands, which it could be a reversed page of wands, right, with hostilities. You need some uh, to release some anger here, which would make sense for the king of wands reversed, okay? So it's either being really tired or angry or sick and tired and need to stay home away from everybody else right now, which is fine. The underlying energy is indecision, right? So you're not deciding, so it's making you frustrated and angry. Eight is the strength card. You need the strength and the courage to choose, to choose your path here. And again, you see how much red there is, which is coming up from, who had that? It was, I think Taurus had the red issues, was that right? Or Aries, I can't remember. But anyway, whoever had the safety and stability issues um, is connected to Leo as well. Because they're scared of, of safety and stability, and, and that's why they're stuck at the Y in the road. They're not making a choice. They need to find the courage and strength to do the right thing for themselves. Not thinking about anyone else. Thinking about yourself first, Leo. Which they look like they're doing with cancer by, by staying home and everyone else may be doing something else, which is fine. So let's see for Leo. What comes up from the Rider Wait Mini? Leo, Leo, Leo. We have the, here's Cancer again. So Leo and Cancer are definitely tied. Uh, we have the Moon and then the Five of Swords. And this, this could be definitely some moodiness and feeling defensive, right? Standing in your truth no matter what. If they don't like it, they have to go away. And this could be just around your family, um, with being separate from them today, not wanting to be around other people. And you could have King of Swords in your energy as well. Okay, and that could be um, anything from the accountant to legal advice, police, military, um, just standing in your truth. Again, there's a lot of swords, um, militant energy here, and especially at night or when the dogs are howling or the dogs need to be taken out, someone is not moving from their stance on whatever the situation is. They're fixed. This is it, period. So, right, if the dogs need to be taken out, they're not. This could be, too, if, like, the kids promised they'd walk the dogs. You are not doing it. They're doing it. 
Um, but just uh, there's a little bit of war within with Leo um, standing in their truth. And maybe that's a little bit difficult for them to do right now because they haven't chosen their path yet. And here's that path again. And it's hard for you to choose path because there's constantly dogs howling around you. You, you, you can't get a clear mind, right? Because it's always about everybody else what they want because they're barking for what they want. And this could be especially difficult for you at night or dealing with a cancer person, okay? Or especially at full moons. But you're standing adamantly in truth. You're not going to let moody people affect your decision, okay? This is for Leo. Let's see what's next. All right, and then Leo, you have, again, you need the strength and courage to do the right thing, the truth. Your truth, not anyone else's. And then right after that, you have the Queen of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune. So there's an earth sign there that's really positive for you. Okay, and then we have Pisces and Libra energy here as well as earth that are really positive. This could be a secret or psychic abilities. And there's that King of Wands reversed again, so it's definitely you, okay? So there's some definite positive energy here, but you have to make the right decision for yourself and not let others sway you. Okay, so this is your energy right now. You feel swayed by other people and it's making you angry because you're feeling manipulated into doing what they want to do not, and you're allowing that. They're not doing it, you're allowing it. So you have to stand strong in what you want for yourself. All right, Virgo. We have the Six of Cups, beautiful card, and then the Coffin. So this can be a death, but not with this card. It's more about, you know, just... Closing the case. Case is done. Ending whatever. It's just dead and buried. We're not dealing with it anymore. We're only dealing with this energy. So let's see what else is coming up with you. So again, Earth Signs is under that um, Eight of Swords. So that prison or fear energy. And let's see what we have for Virgo. Why? There may be some people just in fear about their kids getting sick. Which... Fear doesn't help anything. It actually aggravates. The best thing you can do is redirect your energies into something positive you can do around the house or in your neighborhood, whatever you're, whatever you're able to do in your area. Not Maybe not focus on that at all, but focus on something else that's really good. Keeping your, vibra your vibrations and your immune system pure is the best way to not get sick, no matter what you're dealing with, to stay happy and good. We have appreciation. Show your gratitude, Virgo. I am grat. I am I'm so appreciative for all of you out there. <laughs> I am Virgo. I have 21 here for you guys. Strategy. And this could be right now, since you're stuck home, is about journaling. Write it down. Or plan a strategy for your next step, where you want to go. Okay, you may have found a feather as well. Uh, 21 is the world, so it's about uh, perhaps writing about your journey in the world, completion, along with appreciation. This could be writing letters. Stay home and write letters to people you haven't talked to in a while or, or letters you want to write to people who you really appreciate in your life. That would be a beautiful token. And this has to do with the shadow side, with the devil there. The shadow side of the world. And to kind of, you know... Transmute those energies by showing appreciation, writing letters to people. This would be beautiful. This could be having your kids do that too. The underlying energy is the thinking man. Okay, so there's a three prong crystal here. And he may be, he's very curious about the crystals, or perhaps about um, psychic abilities or his own intuition. The thinking man, because the thinking man's not about the intuition, he's about the logic. So here we have that 46 again, the Six of Cups. What can the thinking man learn from his children? Let's see what Virgo has here. Okay, we have Temperance, which is all about patience and balance, taking one step at a time when you're feeling stuck at the road. When you feel like you have no options and no path to take, maybe you've chosen your path, but you can't implement it right now for obvious reasons. This is about finding creative work, aligning with your desires, 
And like I said, perhaps journaling may be one of your desires to write. Could be writing a book as well. Being creative with what you can do. Work with what you have. This is somebody who's, who's going through a grieving process or feels guilt and shame. It's about transmuting this um, grieving energy into something creative to transmute the, the nickel into gold. And here we have that Queen of Wands creeping up here for Virgo as well. All right, so whether that's your own anger issues or somebody else around you, this can be a Leo, but it doesn't have to be. This can also be you, you as a mother and sick children around. Okay. Or it can just be feeling drained for other reasons. All right, this can be someone who's losing their temper, their temper's out of control, or... Um, they're struggling with their creativity here. Or maybe they're jealous because this person's feeling very creative and you're stuck at home not feeling creative or stuck with the sick kids. Or just drained, sick, tired, overexposed. And this is again clinging, clingy kids or maybe you're clingy with your kids. Yeah, but helping... Um, Again, you're, what's coming up for you is all about journaling, about writing, or just being an angel, strategy, strategy for the world to show your appreciation, your gratitude for even the shadow side of ourselves, showing people how to transmute the negative things into gold, you know making lemons into lemonade. It's all that kind of energy. So the kids may actually be making lemonade because they're being clingy and it's irritating their mom. <laughs> all right. And maybe the, the mom is, ups is upset because dad won't participate or dad has to work and she's stuck home. It's kind of like that energy for Virgo. But again, it's just about being patient there may be some grieving because someone has passed recently, but I'm not getting it right acutely right now. Um, um, you may have to prepare for a funeral service or go to a funeral service. But it's really about um, the, the child energy, either your own children or their child within you. There's soulmate energy here. So how to, how to like let go of things in the past that no longer serve you and how to change those negative energies into positive energies. And basically stuck home with your children, your children may be teaching you something here. So you might want to pay attention. Okay, but definitely journaling is coming up. Completion's coming up here. Wrapping things up, case closed, and just being positive and showing appreciation, gratitude. All right, that's for Virgo. Then next is Libra. We have the Three of Wands and the Privileged Lady. This is someone watching this Viking ship sail away. I mean, very oriental... Um, energy here so somebody could like Chinese food as well or maybe waiting for shipments from China or some Viking type energy waiting for a shipment or that ship has sailed or sending out a shipment maybe delivery to someone or here's a privileged, privileged lady who's stuck at home maybe she's spending a lot of money on imports and exports or maybe that's her business and she is number 12, which is the hangman of being wise. So if you're the masculine, you could be watching this privileged lady go away on a ship. Maybe she's, she's, uh, she's traveling home somewhere or going to distant shores if she's allowed. Or maybe someone who's not a citizen has to go back to their country, something like that. 
All right, let's see here. All right, we have door to value. What is it that you value? Do you value, value money? Do you value your freedom? Do you value safety and security? What is your value system? Here, 31 is the five of wands of conflict, fighting, expansion, on the quest for your dreams, right? Competition games. What is it that you value? You'll have conflict if you don't know what you value. So it's identifying it. What do you value? Third chakra, Archangel Shamuel. So standing up for yourself, being confident and happy, right? Shining your light for others. Getting out of that red energy of the root issues, safety and security, and being confident. And then, then using the red for your door to romance, okay? I love the doors are flipped here. The underlying energy is the second chakra, your sacral chakra, Archangel Ariel. And 36 is the Atlas energy, the weight of the world, the Ten of Wands. I want you to see this. Look at these two cards. Well, first of all, look at the three cards. They match perfectly, all right? Here's that gold without the red. And then these are gold and red, but they're inverse here, okay? So we have the red doors over here with the gold and the gold doors here with the red around it. So what do you value? Who are you? Identify yourself, right? That's the uh, solar plexus. Who are you? How can you shine your light if you don't know who you are? And this is the door to romance, maybe exactly the opposite side of the coin from you, okay? Your heart may live what, in what you think is a prison because it, you, you see it as being very different from you, but it's actually exactly the same, just the opposite side of the coin. So it's two sides of the same coin. And the connection between is your confidence, your knowing who you are. 37 is the King of Cups, unconditional love, which is what who we all really are, is unconditional love. And then 33 is that Christ vibration of the Seven of Wands, standing up for yourself without being triggered. Right? Knowing your worth, knowing who you are, and being able to stand up for yourself and walk away when necessary. And not cage your heart. That heart's not inside. You see there's no cage lines around the heart. It's actually hanging outside the cage. But you need the key to get into the heart. That's really beautiful, Libra. Okay, so your key to romance is knowing who you are. Because whoever, this romantic partner here is exactly the opposite side of the coin, of your coin. So if you know who you are, you'll know who your, your perfect partner is. Alrighty. Because this is coming up like, like weird energies here. Like, they don't match at all, right? This is like the Viking on the coast doing import and export shipping, and here's the priv privilege, privileged lady. So they're two different, very different energies. So is this the person you with and it, it, you're with, and is that actually your true mate? Or is that the person you're thinking about and you can't imagine that they're the right person for you? All right, Libra. So why is that? Okay, you have justice reversed, which is your energy. Feeling dependent or powerless. Well, that could be a person around you or an older child. And this is about gaining, needing clarity in the situation, receiving clarity in the situation, and then going forward with a new plan. All right. So again, this is something that feels unfair that you or someone else around you is powerless, but you've received or they've received um, clarity in this situation or this is the same person who feels dependent right now and this is about after reaping rewards now going forward with how what's your next step what's your next plan are you going to invest you're going to go back to work are you going to retire what is it you're going to do with your your savings that you do have if you don't have this much anymore you have this so how are you going to implement it in order to perhaps recap or re um, reinvest or get back what you lost or what you need and then we have the empress. So you may have a plan to invest in this empress or just in abundance in general. Okay, with this world upside down and complete, maybe her world's upside down and complete. And you two coming together is just what you all need. Okay, so that's really beautiful. 
So the empress can be the privileged lady. Okay, and it looks like that is the person whose world is upside down, wanting to connect with you. And again, this came up, I think, for Aries, to help with the world. So you may have Aries in your chart, Libra. You may want to work together to help what's going on right now. Sudden events, epiphanies, okay, with those suffering. That's a really beautiful read. Okay, you know, you just have to, Libra, you just have to know who you are in order to know who the right one is for you. You're suffering over uh, over nothing. You're not trusting yourself. That's the issue. All right, this is for Scorpio. Scorpio is the star reversed and community. Um, and this can be a little bit of depression or perhaps you're just sick, so you're feeling a little down. Loss of hope, an inability to heal right now. Perhaps you have a cold and so you're struggling, right? Especially when everyone thinks they're, you know, that you're a negative energy around them because they don't understand the virus that's very different than a cold or literally you could have the virus and here's the community trying to be supportive but stay away from you at the same time and the 39 is the knight of cups so there are loving energies around you but you're just either depressed or low or sick right now um, unable to heal right because when you have a cold you just have to ride it out you can't you can't heal it there's nothing you can do or if you have a virus just let it's riding the wave and let it go through keeping your your energy pure and high and happy that's the best thing you can do for yourself take a multivitamin and a vitamin c every day my father's a doctor and we were all raised that way so that's his advice a multivitamin and a vitamin c every day so i actually juice and um i drink I just drink a small glass of my juice every morning. It's the best way to get your vitamins, really. I get frozen vegetables. I usually use, I got to download ones to use cranberry and artichokes actually together, actually along with cuticles as well, which is, I know is strange, but it makes sense because uh, cuticles are uh, an immunity barrier. So I use, I usually use at least three different fruits that I get frozen, you know, organic, uh, Wild blueberries are more nutritious than regular blueberries. I use raspberries usually and cranberries. Um, but any fruits that you like. Um, berries are great, especially because you can freeze them like that. And they're good. You want to get the ones with really strong taste because that's what makes it taste good. So I use those. I usually do a half an apple, a half a, half a pear. Um, carrots and the artichokes, like I said. I use um, sunflower seeds in there as well as... Um, almonds, raw, they're raw almonds I get on Amazon, raw organic almonds. They're different than the United States. In the United States, they, they you know, kill everything. So I actually like getting them on Amazon. Um, what else do I put in there? I put in there my green powder. I can't think of the name of my powder that I use. It's actually really good because it doesn't taste bad at all. Um, green juice I'll have to remember and let you guys know and if I if I think, feel I need to I'll put like one pack of organic stevia in it to sweeten it up a little bit but you don't have to use that at all Is there anything else I'm forgetting I think that's most of it if I think of anything else I'll let you know but I yeah I do that juice and that juice lasts me a few days because I don't you know I don't drink big glasses of it I just do that about six ounces in the morning every morning and I do that with a big cup of milk that I just put a little bit of organic decaf in. And, um, you know, that's my protein for the day. So it really gets me through most of the day. So if that helps anyone, just thought I'd let you know. All right, this is for Scorpio. What is the energy card for Scorpio? We have 29 in the world. And for Scorpio, it's a very dark world, right? Because Scorpios are very deep and transformative. It's like you're in your own space, just looking out at the world. 29 is being present. It's the three of wands is this card here that Libra just had. So just being very present to what's going on in the world from a distance. <laughs> you're staying in your dark hole, in your cave, and just watching the world turn. Okay. 
Um, you guys have these cards coming up too. This came up with Libra, journaling and strategy. Was it Libra? I'm sorry, that was Virgo. So you may be dealing with a Virgo, um, but that's to do with journaling and strategizing. And again, the world is coming up and you're standing there looking at the world. And then you have deceit. So again, this is revolving around safety and security. And you know, Scorpio can have that dark side because they're very deep and transformative. They're the phoenix that rises. So what, what are you deceiving yourself about? 25 is the knight of wands. So someone's very passionate about something, but are you being real? Right? Is that your true self? So you might want to journal about what you're feeling right now because there may be some dark energies coming up that um, you're not clear about, about, who, about yourself. Okay, look at the different colors here. We've got the blue and the gold and the red. Okay, the, the root, the solar plexus, and there's a little purple in here too. This is more like the mouth and the intuition. To allow, allow this deep stuff to come up, to shine your true light, and then transform it through your words and your intuition. I love the colors here for you. The underlying energy for you is coming up appreciation. Show your gratitude. That's the underlying energy, even with the shadow with the 15. Show your appreciation for the shadow and the light for your dark transformative energies that you are because you've helped really transform the world, Scorpio. That's your job. All right, Scorpio. Scorpio. Five of Wands reversed, Nine of Wands reversed, and then Three of Cups. So this is about um, no more fighting or you lost a game, whatever it was. There's no conflict here anymore. This is surrendering to it. You know, especially maybe if you got sick or something, you're now just surrendering it. You're not trying to fight it. And this is, um, and that can just be playing with others or dealing with others. You're realizing in this world situation, there's no reason to be in conflict, to just surrender to whatever's happening and go with the flow. Find the cheer in it and having fun and joy with others. That's all there is to it, which you have in your environment. You have the community environment, and when you're feeling low, to just allow the other people around you to cheer you up. And that's dropping all your burdens and spreading the news or having other people spread the word to you. So this could be you online just having fun with your friends. So that's perfect. All right, guys. There may be some underlying um, unhappiness with you guys here. Underlying unhappiness or a family cycle has ended that, and you haven't recognized um, the, uh, the wounding from that. You may have been more hurt about the ending of a cycle than you realized, and this is a perfect time to process this since you're stuck, you know, going within. To become inspired. Okay, Scorpio. Very Scorpio, very primary colors. Okay. Now we have Sagittarius. We have the Page of Pentacles and the False Person. This can be a child, a student, an opportunity, invitation, um, starting over again, <laughs> dealing with someone you think is very different from you. This is a peacock, right? He's looking at her like she's crazy. <laughs> and so you're both, you're not showing your true selves. You're not really this, this perfect, educated, young person. And you're not really a peacock with a flower in your hair. Show your authentic self to each other. It's very clear for Sagittarius here. Who are you really? So for Sagittarius, what is your energy card? Contract for Sagittarius. Again, this is justice for whoever had this as well. There could be Libra energy here. Six is love, family, and community. And hitting the books, perhaps. Somebody might be reading legal books. That justice is blind. 
All right, so maybe you're doing a little bit of research on something legal or a contract. Maybe it's because you're stuck at home. It's a great time to read through a contract, which you know is so painful, right? And then Angel of Balance, 48 is that Eight of Cups, walking away and within, having time to yourself. All right? This is like making a promise to yourself to, oh, to stay in balance. Always give yourself time. If justice is blind, you can feel the balance. You don't need to see it. You can feel the rainbow. You notice the three pyramids are here. So definitely Akashic Records and Atlantis are coming up here. To go within, maybe you need to go back to Akashic Records of Atlantis. I'm getting the genie in the bottle as well with this here. What is your genie in the bottle? What is your magical self? What was your contract that you made when you came into this life? Sagittarius, are you actually performing in the role that you contracted to? Or are you pretending to be something else that you're not? And this is why you're stuck at the Y in the road with indecision. This is a safety and security issue, being scared to choose one way or the other. The bottom of the deck is the happy family here. Okay, so there may be some kind of legal issues or divorce issues going on. Um, not having that picture, like the, this is the illusion, right? That the family is perfect. And this is the energy that's coming out for you. All right, you're in uncomfortable energy. You need to feel what is right for you, what is balanced, what is your contract, all right? And be the angel of balance, what makes you feel good, what makes you feel safe and secure. If you're stuck here, you're not feeling safe and secure, and that's why you're stuck, because you're not making the decision that's right for you, because you're still stewing on it. If it was the right decision, you, you wouldn't have to give it another thought. It would be natural. So let's see what else is coming up for Sagittarius. Okay, this is about grieving, loss, regret, guilt, or shame. Stuck in the why in the road, not making a decision to go one way or the other. Not moving at all. Okay, just, just staying in that grief state or feeling sorry for yourself. So we have Queen of Wands reversed, which definitely can be Sagittarius, along with the Sun reversed, which can be Leo energy as well, or it can just be kids. It could be um, um, being overexposed, sick, tired. Like I said, crazy kids all over the place. But this is someone feeling sorry for themselves, whether it's kids or your own out of controlness or your own illness. You could be sick as well. And it's just making you feel sad and unable to make decisions. This is being clingy. Someone's tired or sick and clingy. Or you have children who are sick and clingy. And you're feeling sorry for yourself. <laughs> All right. And it all, it, with these cards, it's all about um, taking the mask off. It's two people who both have a mask on. They're clinging to each other, but they're clinging. It could be a relationship where neither of you is being your authentic self and you guys actually shouldn't be together. And that's why you're unhappy. You're just juggling. So you're, you're covering up. You're just performing the same old, same old every day. You're covering up all the crap behind you. You need to clear out all of your emotional attachments that no longer serve you, whether it's people, things, places, whatever it is. This is about getting rid of those things that don't serve you. And then we have the King of Swords coming back up here. So it's the same situation. So you're dealing with this person, Sagittarius. Who was this? I can't remember now. It might, I think it was Leo. So Sag, you may be definitely dealing with Leo, and you have Cancer here too, and Leo is dealing with Cancer. So Sag, Leo, Cancer. Okay. All right, Capricorn. Eight of Cups reversed and Wealthy Man. This is someone sitting in uncomfortable energies. Either you're around people so you can't process your own or you need to walk up from, away from a situation that you're not walking away from. And this is a wealthy man. So maybe you feel like you'll lose your money if you walk away. And that's why you're sitting in uncomfortable energies. 13 is death, change, transformation, transition. 
that you need to let it happen. So which is it for you? Why are you in these uncomfortable emotions? All right, so for, I'm going to leave the cards there since you can see them well there. So for Capricorn, Capricorn, why do you have the Eight of Cups reversed and the Wealthy Man? All right, Capricorn. Capricorn, Capricorn. Capricorn. Okay, we have 41, Seventh Chakra, Archangel Uriel. This is like graduation day. You have achieved your crowning moment. Your crown is open. Use it. This is your psychic and intuitive abilities. So much compassion and gold light here. Very much that unity consciousness. You've won an award for it even. Okay. And then you have the fifth chakra as well. Archangel Gabriel. So this is about speaking up on it. What you have learned. All right. About opening up your crown. And your crowning glory. Whatever you've achieved in your life. You need to open up your mouth and speak about it. 39 is the is the um, Knight of Cups. It's about offering your love by being love and, and sharing what you've learned in your life. The underlying energy is the woman holding a heart. 44 is the grounding and integrating of an offer of love. So there's definitely a woman here waiting for you if you're a masculine Capricorn. Or vice versa, this is you as the feminine Capricorn that you're holding your heart for someone. Okay, so let's see what the um, Rider Waite Mini has to say for Capricorn. Okay, you have the Nine of Cups reversed. And Judgment. So this is somebody unhappy, dissatisfied, not getting their wish. And this is about an announcement, a judgment, a, call, a wake up call to action. So not being satisfied with things the way you are with yourself. And knowing that you need to make a change in your life. This is coming together um, to co-create. Perhaps with those who are healing and needing to forgive. How can you help? The Red Cross is here too, right? You might, you're not satisfied. You're good. This is like having everything you need emotionally. But you're still unsatisfied because you want to be in service to others here. And to receive love. Okay. Okay. So you can get out of those uncomfortable energies by putting yourself out there, teaching others, helping others. Okay. You've graduated. So open your mouth and teach others about it. This is beautiful. And this can be the masculine and feminine energy of Capricorn. 41 is the Ace of Cups. 39 is the Knight of Cups. You're, you're standing there ready to be loved. And this actually can be um, your partnership that you're supposed to work with someone to help the world. Okay, Capricorn, that was beautiful. It's like, you're, it's like you have, this may be uncomfortable, but if anyone can do it, you can. To transmute the energies of the world. All right, then we have Aquarius, we have the Eight of Pentacles reversed, and Concern, the Man of Concern. 33 is the Christ Vibration, that's Seven of Wands, standing up for yourself but not being defensive. And this is about either overworking or not working, or whatever you're doing is not working. And there's definitely concern about this here. So why is this with Aquarius? And remember that this, uh, there's full exposure here, so Aquarius might be concerned about something being exposed. Aquarius. Why do you have the Eight of Pentacles reversed? All right, we have 30, which is the garden at the gate, the garden and the gate. 30 is the Four of Wands, your home, your stability, your union. There's two butterflies in this picture. They're hovering outside the gate, and she's pretending like she doesn't see them there because she doesn't want her stability to end, her, per her picture-perfect life. And this is the fourth chakra, Archangel Raphael. Again, 38 is the Queen of Cups. And this is the Heart Chakra. 
and then we under the underlying energy for Aquarius is blossoming abundance. All right, so this is the underlying energy, number three, Empress. So you have all this abundance, and you don't want to give it away. You're pretending not to see the butterflies that are leading you out of there because you're afraid to lose this. And this is calling you to your heart. What's your heart's desire? You might be able to stay in this safety and stability, but you're being called to follow your heart. The Queen of Cups, your, your loving, nurturing, intuitive self, or this could be another person as well that you're called to follow or work with. But you're being called away here. You're just trying to ignore it so you can stay in your pretty place. This is home and the Queen of Cups. It's very much Cancerian energy. All right, let's see what else is coming up for Aquarius. Why is this man concerned about the fact that things aren't working? There's either overwork, no work, or whatever is happening right now is not working for him. <sighs> Aquarius. And this card just flipped over right here. If I can get them all out here. There's three cards. They are. All right. You have, again, grieving. This came up for, what was it, Sagittarius? So again, this, you could have Sagittarius in your field or your own chart. Um, someone's feeling sorry for themselves. Either they're homesick or with sick kids and feeling sorry for yourself or stuck not making a decision or literally grieving a loss with the, ch the children and the children are driving you crazy or just overexposed, sick, tired, whatever you are if you don't have kids. There's definitely Leo energy with Aquarius. Anything else? All right, so there's the clinginess at home. Definitely could either be you being sick and the kids are being clingy or you're being clingy, not letting go of the why in the road. This is being stuck, not making a decision as well as grief. So either way, feeling sorry for yourself. It could be deserved feel sorry for yourself because you're grieving a loss and you need time to do that. Or it could be you just staying here because you don't want to make a decision, but it's not serving you. All right. It's not serving you. All right. So that's for Aquarius. Again, this is, um, you're being called to break your patterns. Stop pretending that all this isn't going on behind you and dump all of your emotional burdens, things that don't resonate with you. What attachments do you have that don't serve you anymore? People, places, things, whatever it is, you need to get rid of it. It's like cleaning your emotional and your physical closets, okay? All right, that's for Aquarius. And then we have Pisces. Pisces has the Ace of Swords and the message the truth, Excalibur, perhaps writing as well, and the message. You have a message to get out there, to write. We have opening drawers here as well. Letters and ink. Maybe you can you, know, you do calligraphy. There's something you can sell here. Seven is the chariot. Okay? You have a message to get out there. It's very important. Pisces. And again, you're... You're being lazy today in a good way. You're stuck, so you might as well be. And you're being called to write for sure here. Pisces. Pisces. The woman holding a heart. All right, who better to write about love than Pisces? 44 is that four of cups, being bored, apathetic, or grounding and integrating an offer of love. So you could be the one grounding and integrating, or you could be the one offering the love that somebody else is holding off on. And you also have the 29 of the world, which was the Scorpio. Scorpio had this. I can't remember who had the, the heart. But you can look back and see that if you want. But this was definitely Scorpio. 29 is that three of, of wands, which is also Libra. So you could have Scorpio Libra in your energy or around you. Okay. So literally, just to give you an example too, because my daughter is Pisces, my son is Scorpio, and I have, I have uh, Libra in my chart, but I'm also Virgo. But definitely, hold, I am a woman holding my heart and my Scorpio and my Pisces writer here. So let's see what else is going on for Pisces.
Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. And write about your pain, Pisces, right? Transmute that negative energy into something positive that can help others. You know you have that in you. All right, the Six of Pentacles, sharing with others, whatever you've felt trapped about or anxiety and fear, right? Whatever you've imprisoned yourself about that, you, that, you're, that you're holding on to. Perhaps you're holding on to your money, saving right now, grounding, feeling like you're skating on thin ice and there's nothing you can do about it. Perhaps without affection or in a breakup of sorts, but I'm not really seeing that's a big deal here. It looks like you do have some money. It's just you have to be very prudent right now because your hands are tied. You feel trapped without affection. You may be sexually frustrated or creatively frustrated. So again, write about it. It may be queen of swords. You may be very hurt. Someone might have really broke your heart. And here is a king of cups here. Perhaps a new person coming in who holds their tongue. Or somebody lashing out. I'm not getting him lashing out. But this could be somebody totally out of control lashing out. Somebody could be jealous too. This could be someone like you had your heart really broken and then someone new comes in who's really loving and then the person who broke your heart is freaking out at you or just freaking out inside and not and holding their tongue because it looks like there may have been a broke a breakup recently but you're just feeling trapped so you're being called to write about all this you're you're concerned about your finances and feeling trapped you're concerned about relationships whatever it is it's on your mind and your heart write about it pisces that's what you're being called to do. The underlying energy from the energy deck is rest and rejuvenation 19, which is the sun. So get some sun if you can and rest and rejuvenate and write about it. You can write anywhere. So that's just perfect for you, Pisces. I hope that was all good for you guys. Um, these are the summary cards. Remember, we have the four of swords reverse. This is about if you're not sleeping, rising above. And if you are sleeping well, this is about waking up and coming out about it, about the lovers, the affection that you have, that you hold. This doesn't have to be a sexual relationship. This is about affection for others and your shadow side, loving all of yourself and all of those you love, even their shadow side, which you know you do. You know, nobody's perfect. Okay. All right. Um... I kind of want to pull one final card. So I'm going to give you an animal card to sum everything up. And I'm going to let you go. It's 117, 47. One is the magician, 17 is the star, and the 47 is the seven of cups. The heaven in your eyes. All right, here we go with the animal deck. What is the final message for everybody here? Whoop, that one went flying out. Three of summer hummingbird. You have an exciting reason to celebrate, such as an engagement, wedding, graduation, or birth announcement. Remember to cherish those you love. So if you're stuck at home and you're going to something, it's a great way to do something creative for them. And it's really special. Okay? You don't have to come together physically to do this, to put your minds together and do something special for somebody else. And this guy wants to be seen too. The Katanga Lion. Now is your moment to step up to leadership role. Don't back away from the spotlight as your plans will be successful so long as you stay focused upon the big picture. King of Spring, inspiring, dramatic, ambitious, and wise. So these two are very different energies. And you may very well fall into one group or the other, okay? As to things you can do. And then there's renewal here as well. They're so cute. The butterfly is leading them to come out and play. The raccoon, it's time to get clarity about your life and purpose and make changes so that you're on the path most... Um, divinely suited to you and that came up a lot during this read forgive what has been without judgment and fearlessly embrace what's to come renewal number 20 judgment okay uh, and this last one's perfect ego 15 the shadow side the Siamese cat you may feel that you're trapped in your situation but that's not true be careful not to overly focus upon material wealth and break free of negative thinking all right, the bottom of the deck is the Ten of Spring, the St. Bernard Dog. You're working far too hard, and the stress will soon become too much. Reach out for help from others and take some time to play and enjoy life, okay? It's exactly what we're saying. Redirect your focus 
into something that feels good right now. And these are all different ways you can do that, okay? All right, so let go of the ego and the feeling you're trapped, and here's the choices that you have. And they're really beautiful. Okay, make sure you drink your water, get your rest, get your joy, get your nature. Be happy, guys. Give love to each other, and rise and be loved. Bye.